we can absolutely get started. Okay, so I will um, share the screen. Yeah, okay, yes. Great. So um, before starting, um, I really would like to have uh, a first part of uh, thank you because uh, um, I'm very grateful for uh, all the work that uh, uh, all the people in SBA, uh, the Systemic Design Association, and also around it have done for this uh, uh, RSD 12. That was uh, really amazing. Uh, so probably I can stay 45 minutes. Thank you all, but I just try to it uh, to do it shorter and uh, um, thank especially uh, the organizing committee. So Evan Barba uh, from G Georgetown Univers University, uh, Cheryl May, uh, that is uh, uh, also uh, our secretary, and much more in the. Uh, Systemic Design Association Board and Palak Dudani, um, and also the SDR Board Working Group on these. Uh, so, um, other part of the board that is Ryan Murphy, that uh, yeah, uh, also the other co uh, secretary uh, of the association, and that work a lot in organizing also that part. Uh, Peter Jones. Uh, that organizing a lot, uh, many, many contribution for uh, RSD 12 uh, and also other activities that I will mention later on. Uh, and Marie Davidova, uh, and also the other SDA board member uh, with uh, Jonathan Rome from the Oslo School of Architecture and Design in Oslo, and Sina Selik from the Delft University of Technology. Uh, and um, with these, um, we have also an adjuvant board advisor, uh, that is Birger Savelson, one of the founder uh, of the network before, and then also of the uh, association, uh, that uh, he, he is always available to uh, chat, advise, uh, and make uh, inspiration on um, on the direction of the systemic design, so on the content, but also on the um, on practicalities, let me say. Uh, and that is for uh, the board, but I'm also very sad to say that two of our valuable members, that was the main engine of this uh, RSD 12, uh, uh, decided to say goodbye to the board, but of course not to the this large family that are Evan Barba and Cyril May, that I really would like to publicly uh, acknowledge for the great value uh, that you have and the effort that uh, you put in organizing this very large event, let me say the larger event that we uh, organized in 12 years. Um, I would also give a special thanks to all the hub organizer. Um, there are so many that I, sorry if I cannot mention you all, uh, but uh, really uh, it is uh, appreciated uh, all the activity that you have done uh, for the specific hub that you are, are uh, that you organized, uh, but also for uh, also the the relation with the main uh, organization, uh, and uh, keep everything uh, together. Uh, so that are the the, the main. Thank you that I would like to, to, to say uh, today at the end of this RSD 12. Uh, and I want to uh, make an evaluation on, uh, not an evaluation, but just some consideration of what um, uh, we feel uh, about the, um, that kind of event. 
uh, and the reason why uh, we every year uh, try to find a moment to stay together. Uh, first of all, um, I would uh, sorry uh, say that uh, I, I'm not in Washington uh, now, and also in the past days, it was a very uh, hard decision to take. But let me say that uh, when we uh, was thinking about um, the, uh, the, the fact that probably the generation of the hub uh, will um, provide less uh, uh, emission, environmental emission for the transfer of the people all around the world from Italy uh, to Washington DC, it, it uh, is a long uh, flight an intercontinental flight. So I decided to uh, not go there directly, even if uh, I really would like to be in presence. Um, and then I had the other uh, reason uh, was also for time uh, um, constraint because uh, we organized here in Turin the uh, last hub on, the, on Monday, the the 16, so I really have a uh, short time to travel and uh, come there. Uh, so I'm very sorry not to be uh, in Washington in presence. Uh, and um, yeah, <laughs> but at the end, I was thinking that ethically was better to reduce the impact and uh, try to um, to, to make this presentation uh, online. Uh, so um, th that is a global community and also uh, not, not only for the members that we have, uh, uh, but for the participation that uh, um, we reach with that edition, uh, generating a network that is uh, uh, related to the systemic design and the uh, sustainability, of course. And we, every year, uh, we uh, know each other better. We found a way to um, enlarge our network. And I think that this year, RSD12 uh, really um, reinforced the networking that all of us have the chance to do uh, within this uh, um, this uh, big event that lasts from the 6th of October, uh, starting from the hub in, um, in Bogota, uh, so in Colombia, uh, and uh, going through uh, the 14 different hubs all around the world. Um, what we have done in these uh, 14, 15 days uh, all together was to share our uh, knowledge, experiences, uh, um, and um, advice on systemic design. And um, I would like to, to underline uh, also an important uh, um, success, uh, I would say, that the SDA uh, Association reached this year, especially thanks to the uh, effort of Peter Jones, that was the newborn um, journal, the Systemic Design Journal context. Um, and really, I would like to thank you, our uh, editor-in-chief, Peter Jones, and all the, um, uh, the colleagues that work in the, in the staff to make it uh, possible. And it is an occasion um, over the uh, RSD to uh, share our activities, uh, our ideas uh, around systemic design with this strong, uh, um, strong um, perspective on interdisciplinary um, and 
of all the research that we can uh, do. So uh, it, it is uh, really another way to keep uh, our uh, network uh, stronger and stronger and to share our uh, experience and to reflect on what systemic design uh, is or and can be uh, also in the future, defining some uh, tra trajectory uh, also for the future. Uh, so uh, really we are an open community that try to, uh, to facilitate the connection among us, um, uh, even if at global level uh, we, um, we are uh, a still a, a, a small group where uh, all the individuals can be uh, listened and can uh, express uh, uh, their um, his her ideas and experiences uh, in that field. Uh, so, um, what we have done with these. Uh, um, uh, 12, uh, 14 hub um, for all the month of October or most of it uh, was to um, think about uh, uh, and uh, working around this entangled in emergence uh, thanks to uh, Georgetown University that develop around this uh, transversal and main, to and main topic uh, many uh, different uh, re reflection. Um, we work around these four main uh, um, group of topics uh, because uh, um, to understand the multiple perspective around this uh, entangled in emergence. Um, so um, because all those per perspectives, the natural, technological, political, and um, foundational ones, uh, uh, help us to understand how systemic design and designer uh, have uh, interconnected questions, patterns, and impact that shape the emergent system. Um, so uh, the the I really uh, love that um, that broad topic, and thank you again, uh, Evan, Cheryl, and Palak, to suggest this uh, um, this uh, this way to read uh, our emerging discipline, uh, because provide us uh, um, really uh, a different. Um, way to to read our uh, activities uh, so for example uh, the technological entanglement uh, started let me say uh, on uh, on a topic that is uh, quite uh, um, uh, qu quite on the um uh, on, on all the research and also on the journals right now that is the artificial intelligence uh, but we uh, it is not only this uh, it, it is um, uh, a, a group of reflection on all the emerging technologies so quantum computing nanotechnology all of them that profoundly destabilize also, let me say, the humanity. Um, so this entanglement was dedicated to the discussion about technologies, so not only AI, um, that are on the horizon and what future they make possible. The second one was more related to the natural entanglements. So, uh, for example, the climate change that has been with us for generations, but its long anticipated consequences are finally being felt. Uh, so, in that area, let me say also the optimism about the possibility of mitigating the worst impact of the climate change. Uh, is at the foundation of all the contribution that we have listened in, in this area. 
Moreover, um, the, the goal um, was also to recognize the reality that our world still lacks the structure uh, and to understand also the damage that we have done to our planet uh, and try to uh, keep our responsibility in this. Um, the third one uh, is um, a, a further um, perspective that we, we need to keep in mind that is related to policy and power. So no discussion of emergency system is completed without understanding the regulatory uh, apparatus that shape it. Uh, so this entanglement was dedicated to the power to influence the emergence. And the last one was the foundational entanglements. So as a systemic design uh, continues to em emerge from the interaction of theory and methods uh, in system thinking and design. So we um, should pay attention to how these theories and methods shape our understanding of the world. Um, so that help us to understand also the relationship that we can build uh, with other discipline, building the bridge among uh, uh, the other disciplines. So um, the contribution from this main um, track uh, addresses the uh, aspect uh, uh, of a foundational or fundamental elements of systemic design, exploring also the limits or the possibility um, that existing theory and methods have. Um, so we enjoy in these, um, in these uh, days, 15 days, 14 apps, um, it, it was a, a really huge effort of organizing uh, eight different time zone uh, and managing 40 uh, speakers uh, and more than 100 sessions uh, and almost 200 authors uh, presented their uh, amazing work. work. Um, so um, what what was the the main where the main uh, challenges that this big event uh, generated uh, in these fifteen days in these two weeks? Of course, I'm engaging all the community in a long journey. So keep the people around RSD uh, for fifteen days. Uh, is was one of the main challenge um, because 15 days are a lot <laughs> uh, and uh, um, and a lot of content that are a lot not only uh, in in the sense of time but also um, because we have a lot of content to share and um, really the the level of the uh, session was very, very high. Um, another <laughs> challenge was uh, taking into account these eight different time zones, trying to be uh, inclusive uh, and also um, leave the right space to, uh, and also independence, let me say, to organize and um, show uh, the uh, main uh, um, uh, peculiarity of every hub uh, and so on. Another big challenge, uh, but technically seems that everything was good, was organizing it in a hybrid event. So some sessions were uh, on only on site, some other are hybrid. Uh, some other are just virtual. Uh, so it was really uh, a big challenge. And another risk was to have uh, sealed hubs, but let me say it 
uh, the, the main organizer succeed to make this network and also um, make the dialogue among uh, uh, the different hub. Um, so the, but in the other side, we have also great opportunity of this uh, structure. Uh, and in RSD uh, 12, we, ha we had the opportunity to uh, really understand uh, the different perspective and uh, um, um, peculiarity of the different hub, because the different hub express in uh, in an autonomous way, uh, their um, characteristics. So uh, we had the chance also to understand uh, uh, in one main event, that is RSD12, all the different uh, nuances that uh, um, we can have uh, in a systemic design all around the world. And uh, it helped the, um, the, this format, uh, um, provide also um, the opportunity to have keynotes, papers, and sharing the activities from different per perspective and different disciplines. So not only designer, but we had the chance to really uh, embrace uh, the uh, different disciplines uh, uh, and learn a lot also from the other. Another important aspect that uh, uh, this organization um, take into account and make the value is avoiding parallel session. So it was long also because uh, we uh, avoid as, as much as possible the parallel session. Uh, so uh, everyone had the opportunity to um, to, to, to listen directly uh, the different uh, uh, sessions, uh, and it was a great opportunity. Furthermore, uh, the, the session are also available as a recorded one. Uh, so uh, you can, if you miss something, you can watch again uh, what happened in, uh, in a session that you didn't have chance to uh, see in, um, in in um, uh, in streaming, so um, we uh, enjoy a lot uh, that that aspect. I think that are the our strengths of this uh, this year. So the uh, different focus of the hub um, were very interesting and. Uh, um, Again, uh, uh, thank you all for this uh, action and the reflection that you generate among uh, the different topic from climate justice to uh, transgenerational collaboration or uh, the uh, Latin American perspective, uh, um, the cybernetic hub and the digital cyber and digital hub. Um, Really, we um, understand uh, the multi uh, perspective of the app and also the peculiarity that they have. Uh, so, thank you all for organizing and providing us these uh, contents that are um, uh, priceless. And also, uh, thank you, uh, Cheryl, that until the end, uh, collect uh, all the information from all the app, exactly in the sense that um, those, uh, one of the risks was to have the silent um, hubs, but it was not like, like this, because um, uh, we try to make uh, the networking and the generation of uh, exchange of experiences uh, among the different hubs. Uh, so uh, Cheryl um, uh, facilitate uh, the creation of a big document uh, with uh, all the summary um, and uh, uh, discussion uh, of each hub 
uh, with uh, also some uh, advice for the next step uh, as an app or as a uh, uh, SDA. So very precious this uh, uh, document and thank you all for filling uh, it. Uh, if uh, you want, it, it is always a, a live document. So if you want to add something, uh, you are more than welcome to increase. And we will try to make these uh, uh, bridges uh, make bridges among the different hubs uh, uh, all around the world. Um, so uh, I we had uh, 27 keynotes um, that were uh, amazing. I just, I, I would say something about all of them, but I will focus just on some uh, that I'm very, um, also related to, to them because some of them uh, were uh, involved in uh, um, RSD uh, already in RSD 7. That was uh, uh, the ones that as a Politecnico di Torino we organized in 2018. Um, so for example, <laughs> sorry, for example, uh, Chelsea Molding uh, was, uh, in uh, in Turin, and I'm happy that was uh, also again invited in uh, Washington DC. And her talks, uh, her talk uh, uh, now this year, explore what mental models or frame policymaker can use the um, the the can, can be used to um, to, to exercise. Uh, uh, the individual uh, experience. So drawing from more than a decade of the public policy lab, um, uh, the, uh, as, a, as, as an ad agency, um, so how uh, she succeed, let me say, to uh, engage uh, margin marginalized or fragile uh, people. Uh, so highlight, uh, she highlights it's, uh, the approach to assi assessing if and how current programs recognize their responsibility to engage with the uh, unique uh, particularity of each human they serve. So the moral requirement of entanglement. She also proposes uh, frames for more entangled policy po future. Uh, so what tools uh, we could use uh, in the context of refurbishing or developing new policy and to generate and implementing a more human social system. Uh, so that, that was uh, uh, very nice to listen her again after some years with the um, next step uh, uh, of this. And it was also uh, really nice to, to see again uh, Pille, that I'm happy to see her also online now. And uh, uh, she delves into language hidden constraint to provide ground for reflection and conversation concerning how the vocabulary used in the design conversation uh, is crucial and uh, um, even more in design theories, how the biases uh, um, of uh, that can be generated uh, um, should be taken into uh, account and we should work on it. Another uh, nice, uh, um, nice um, uh, keynote speak was uh, uh, from uh, Roberto Iniguez Flores uh, that uh, really I hope that uh, uh, with the Tecnologico de Monterrey, uh, thanks also to, again, to, um, to Peter Jones, we can reinforce the collaboration and make Central America and then maybe also the South America more uh, stronger in our uh, community. 
And I would like to mention also a new, very new um, uh, keynote uh, speaker uh, that uh, was the first time that we have uh, Carolina Giraldo Nora as a keynote speaker uh, in RSD. Uh, that I think it was a nice discovery. She is a systemic designer and uh, she shared with us her uh, experience in uh, uh, Climate Kick. Um, so at the policy level again and how um, the systemic design can be um, used at uh, helping the government to rethink the the how uh, the policy can uh, can be um, designed in a more disruptive let me say way um and uh, especially her perspective was related to Europe because she's working for a European agency. So how the Europe can be a global leader in the fight against climate change. So that was um, the, the, the main uh, sharing uh, from that perspective. And in her talks, uh, we had many questions. So um more the answer let me say so what will be the role of systemic design how design can forge strong alliances uh, and focus on well-being of present and future generation and so on so uh, really all I, I would like to say one word to all the 27 keynote speakers but uh, yeah, I have 10 minutes left, so uh, I would like to close uh, uh, this uh, uh, summary um, and uh, the consideration on, on uh, RSD 12, uh, saying that uh, really the systemic designer um, uh, demonstrated uh, that are the catalyst for change in all the uh, presentation contribution keynote speakers have we really see how um, the systemic design has this ability and we should um, really enforce and um, be proud of that uh, ability or um, yeah because it is not uh, of everyone is able really to be a catalyst for the change uh, I think that is really a, a mindset uh, that uh, we are able to change and uh, we can catalyze um, the the and we are also brave to, to change. <laughs> that is one of the aspects. Uh, another important uh, uh, topic that in the last RSD uh, start to be um, stronger and stronger uh, is this relationship uh, with human and more than human. Um, so uh, I think that uh, that, for example, comes from the um, uh, the uh, the hub uh, in Utrecht. So um, in Netherlands. So um, how uh, that that aspect should be um, included uh, more and more in the reflection uh, of our research. Uh, also teaching uh, um, activities uh, and, and so on. Um, so uh, I would like to listen a little bit uh, your perspective. Uh, so those are my uh, personal takeaways uh, of uh, this RSD 12, uh, but I want to listen also uh, the um, the idea of you. So if you uh, want to write in chat for the ones that are online, uh, what is your main uh, or your impactful takeaway um, from RSD12? And I don't know if uh, in presence uh, you would like to um, 
open the microphone and tell us the, directly uh, what is your um, takeaway. So in, in the meanwhile that you are uh, thinking about that, um, I just want to conclude saying that uh, SDA is really a community um, made of individuals where the individuals are uh, really at the service of the community uh, in all the hub and in all the session. Um, I can see the content and the service to the community more the uh, individuals. So I think that this is another uh, important uh, value that the Systemic Design Association has. And the only way to be uh, democratic and to allow the participation uh, is to uh, facilitate uh, the um, networking and the participation on the different activities that we have. Uh, so uh, after these, uh, um, we have the general assembly with all the members uh, where really um, have the opportunity to start uh, uh, reflecting for um, the action of the next year and uh, um, a part of the board that will uh, facilitate all the action, but uh, all the members uh, are more than welcome to take care of certain uh, specific uh, activity, if you have time and if you will, we are very open uh, in, in this. And thank you, Helen, to write your takeaway. Uh, that is uh, um, the diversity. Uh, so the, the strength of our diversity, curiosity, and willingness to learn from each other. Yes, uh, I, I'm to I totally agree with you uh, because uh, um, all the session were a moment uh, to debate uh, and to to have a confrontation one with the other, with this uh, uh, posture of uh, listener uh, with open mind. And yeah, I, I think that is priceless for, for us. Um, <laughs> uh, Pil, I know that the time zone was uh, a, <laughs> a, a challenging part and uh, yeah thanks to the organizer to uh, have this recorded uh, um, video we can enjoy uh, I don't remember until when uh, um, sorry if I say something broad, but I think for one month or something more uh, we still have the opportunity to have all these uh, material available uh, uh, to be watched in a second moment. Um, and uh, um, Pile is also inspired by the move to being more aware of ways of knowing epistemology and the sense of further increase in a reflexive and inclusive attitude. Yeah, really appreciate it. Um, a last request, um, how you feel about the conference hubs uh, set up? Uh, so if you like it, uh, any suggestion, probably maybe we can uh, uh, do a questionnaire uh, after RSD, but uh, uh, it is um, uh, very welcome if you want already to write something uh, in, uh, in the chat. Um, so uh, that is just to say you um, that uh, we are always uh, working on SDA all around uh, the year. Uh, so that, uh, of course, the uh, organizing now deserve uh, a long vacation <laughs> after this uh, marathon um, or sprint. 
but uh, yeah, all the community is uh, ready to start uh, uh, thinking about the next step and all the activity that for the next year 20, and, and 23, beginning 2024, uh, will, um, uh, we will have. Um, so, uh, I think that, uh, um, uh, those, uh, uh, Marie, thank you. It was great, but also very exhausting. <laughs> I think that the, the main organizer are more exhausting than us. <laughs> Uh, and uh, really, uh, I would. Uh, I, I'm very grateful for uh, all the work done, and because, uh, yeah, the results is uh, uh, evident, uh, and uh, we really appreciate uh, uh, what you you have done. Uh, and uh, as a auditor. Uh, listener or contributors, we enjoy uh, the environment that you built around the RSD 12. Thank you again. Evan, I don't know if you want to say something, but technically. Hi, uh, so I just want to say, yeah. want to say thank you. Um, <laughs> and uh... I guess really, I want to say thank you to everyone. Um, it's been a real, it's been a real honor uh, to serve this community, and um, I look forward to working with everyone more in the future. Frankly, um, okay. Well, so uh, thank you, Sylvia. We've got one minute to hop over to the uh, General Assembly Zoom link, so uh, we will see you all there in just a moment. Thank you. All right. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye.